start off, if anybody went to my, my poodle seminar the other day, we're gonna start off by blocking her in. And I'm gonna use the new Wall KM10 clipper. And this is a two-speed clipper, and it's one of the lightest, quietest clippers on the market right now. And I'm gonna go with the snap-on comb. I have a 30 blade with, and I'm doing the zero or the half inch yellow comb over the 30 blade. Um, you can use, underneath the snap-on combs, you can use um, a nine, 10, 15, 30. You don't ever wanna use a 40 or a 50 underneath the snap-on combs. The 40 and 50 blades are actually a little bit more narrow through here, so they don't fit the combs properly and they'll break all the teeth on your clipper. So you wanna never ever go to a 40 blade. I like the 30 blade, but a lot of people prefer a 15 or a 10, um, but I just like the finish that I get better with the 30 blade. The what? Uh, is more, uh, is more better, I like it. I, for me, it is. Yeah, I feel it is. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna get her her front end blocked in. So I'm gonna start up behind her ear and take all of this stuff down. And then find that point of shoulder right here and carve this in. And I want this to be a parallel line from her ear all the way down to the floor. So, and one of the nice things of using the snap-on combs is you can, you can just visualize it, you can see it, and then you can just go ahead and take this, so I'm gonna turn her this way, and just draw that straight line. So you can see that nice, that line that goes all the way down. Her coat is pretty soft just because she's getting to be an older girl. Okay, same thing on this side. I just want to draw this nice line right down. You can skim off a lot of, a lot of the uh, leg hair with your snap-on combs and save yourself a little bit of scissoring time. Okay, then I usually go to the back end and I want to find exactly where her, the back end of her is. So you can see with all of this extra hair that she's got right now, it makes her look longer in body. So we want to square her up, make her look like a nice square little girl. So what I usually do is I find that, that point of rump, that pin bone here, and I scoop all of this out. And it, what I do is I go down to the bend in her leg. So when you pick up her leg, where that bend is in the back of her leg, that's gonna be the shortest point. So when you pick it up, see where the bend is? So I, I take my snap-on comb, and I'm gonna scoop out right at that bend in the leg, and then wrap it around the side of her leg. And you can see by scooping out that little bit, the angulation that we've already started in her rear, and how it makes her it squares her up. It makes her look a lot shorter in body. Now, because we're doing a German trim, I don't want to take any of this stuff right here. So when her when she's when she's stacked up, I want this. She should have they should have a short back with a level top line that comes. The tail should come right up off of the back. So sometimes if you have a dog that has a lower tail set, you want to leave this hair here and leave a little bit of fill so that you can still create the illusion of it being a nice a nice level top line up into her tail. So I usually, like her, her hip bones are here. So when I'm coming down with my clipper, I'll come down to about the, where those, those hip bones are and then come off to the side. So I'm not taking anything. I'm leaving like this little V right here. Sorry, this way, this little V right here around her tail set. <laughs> so, same thing on this side. I'm going to come down when I get to her tail. I'm going to go off to the side. It's okay, girl.
And see, because you want this to be a parallel line, you can just kind of take your clipper and you can draw that nice line all the way down. And it, it is going to save you a lot of scissoring time. So now when you see exactly where the front and the back end are, you'll know exactly where to place your tuck up, which is the highest point of your underline. So it usually goes like right around that last rib. So I'll take my clipper and I'll follow that structure and I come down and I follow my clipper around that rib cage. Yes. Yep, this part right here I want to be careful not to cut off because this is going to connect my tuck up with my, with my rear leg. So when I come down in the flank area, in this section right here, I just come straight down. But when I follow that rib cage, I'm coming all the way down and actually I can go against the grain and take this stuff right off. The, the rib should come to about the elbow. So you don't want, if you leave anything extra hanging down here, it's going to make her look really thick and heavy through here, and it's going to throw off the balance. So she doesn't need anything extra along her, her underline. So from where that tuck up is, right around her rib cage, I'm going to go forward and then just take all of that stuff off. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side. Good girl. Follow that rib cage around. And with your snap-on combs, um, you can still do a stylish trim. So and by that, what I mean is, you know, in my, in my shop, we do a lot of what I call like lamb trims, or sometimes I even call them lazy lambs because I do all the body work with, with combs, with snap-on combs, so it saves me a lot of that scissor time. But you can still, if you want to add like a little bit of style, um, I, like, I like the length of the zero, especially if you have a, like an older dog with a thinner coat or a very thin dog. If I have a more robust dog, then I would probably go to either the one or the two comb, um, which will be a lot closer. And, and those I would use on a dog that had like a really nice thick plush coat as well. But she's, she's an older girl and she's got kind of a very thin coat. So I chose this, this length on her because I think it'll look nicer. But if you were doing, say you wanted to add a little bit more style, especially if you have a dog that's really thin, like um, one of my males at home tends to be on the thin side. So I will use like the zero on the body, but in this section right here, I'll go one comb light length longer, like I would go to an A. So that would actually give a little bit more spring of rib. And it's just a matter of kind of connecting the dots, you know, smoothing it out with your scissors, but you still have cut like a lot of your time off, but you can still add like a little bit, a little bit of style by just going like one or sometimes even two um, snap-on comb lengths longer. So once I carve them in, I usually kind of fluff them up and just go over it one more time. But this is like, like when you get your snap-on combs, these are all, like the more, po more popular lengths. These I do, if I'm, I'm I'll use these on say, um, you know, something like really full coated. Like I have a client that has an old English sheepdog and they like her to be very full, but they keep her in, in a e really easy maintenance trim. And I do her with the longest comb all over her body. And then I just kind of scissor in her legs. So these I, I call more of like leg, leg combs or, you know, when you want to leave them really full. But most of my maintenance trims are in these. And I'll do, you know, like in the wintertime, I'm doing the same exact haircut, but I'm doing it with the zero. And then in the summertime, they want a little bit shorter. They're getting the same exact haircut, but I just go one or two lengths shorter with this. So these are all my, the most popular ones that I would use in my shop. Um, my Shih Tzus, my Lasses. Um, all my drop coated breeds, I usually use any one of those. And again, it depends on the texture of the dog's coat and, um, you know, the, the age of the dog and, and all that good stuff. How, how fat or thin, robust or thin the dog may be. Hmm? <laughs> okay, so this, we want to take this down.
and when I'm setting in like my neckline, when I'm coming on the side, I'll start from the corner of her ear and take all of this down, but the hair on the back of the neck, I try not to cut into any of this. So if you take your, if you take your, um, your blade and you come straight in this way, oops, you're gonna end up with a, a line that's gonna be hard to get rid of. So I'll usually would just, with the dog's head standing straight, I'll skim into the neck hair just to kind of take off all the extra bulk that's hanging off. And then I'll usually go, like her withers are right here where her shoulder blades meet. And I'll usually go like an inch or so behind that and I just kind of skim. So I don't want to make like a definite line that's going to be hard to blend. I'll just kind of skim some of that neck hair off and go into her top line. And with a poodle coat, you can really take these snap-on combs and go in any direction. And you'll get a nice enough finish that I don't have to go back and I won't have to re-scissor all of her body hair. I like doing these little ones you can just pick up and move around. <laughs> it's okay. That's a good girl. It's all right, good girl. And then this underneath here, like right up under her chest, because she doesn't need any of that extra stuff. So I start kind of like right up in her armpits and take off that extra bulk underneath. And she actually has like a lot of body for a little toy dog, which is nice. She's not so breakable. Good girl. Good girl. Her coat is so soft, every time I touch it with my hand, I make indentations in it. But I don't think, I don't think the woman that owns her has had her since a puppy, so I'm, I don't think she's positive how old she is. They're thinking maybe nine-ish. She's looking for somebody she knows. <laughs> Good girl. And then if you if you really wanted to, um, I mean she's she's actually pretty cute. She is pretty square. But if you really needed to shorten them up even more, then you could go like one length shorter. So I might go to like the one and just block in the front and the rear end. So if you wanted to kind of, just kind of give the illusion of her being a little bit shorter in body, another way to shorten them up in body, besides going shorter here and here, would be to take a little bit more hair off the front of the front leg and leave more hair on the back of the front leg. And then the same thing on the back. So I'd leave more hair here. So by bringing this a little bit fuller, it gives the illusion of a man shorter too. I can never find what I'm looking for. The Northwest Grooming Show. Breathe. The Northwest Grooming.